Building Collapse in Nigeria, Time to Take Action. Building collapse, though a common phenomenon all over the world, is more rampant and devastating in developing countries. It is a major problem in Nigeria and mostly occurred in Lagos, which has the largest population of residents in the country. There are frequent media reports of collapse of buildings in major Nigerian cities like Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt, and other parts of the world. The problems range from faulty design, negligence, incompetence, faulty construction, foundation failures, extraordinary loads, and corruption. Forces of nature were also identified as part of causes of building collapse. The major reasons for building failures include the use of substandard materials, quacks and failure of designs during the construction. It is pertinent to note that the incidence of building failures and collapses in Nigeria has reached an alarming level and the stakeholders need to wake up and stop treating these continuous occurrences with levity. On several locations, it led to unnecessary loss of lives and destruction of people's properties, thus becoming an issue of major concern since it poses threat to the national development of our great nation. Generally, citizens, including professionals and government, must take a step in order to prevent the common problem of building collapse in Lagos and Nigeria at large. The responsible government agencies and professional bodies must create awareness of the need to obtain planning permission before building. They must also insist on the need to engage professionals in the construction of buildings. Guys, what do you think mm, about comfort, building collapse? Comfort, go first. Yeah, comfort. Yeah. What do you think about the building collapse? <laughs> there was a recent incident in Lagos last week. Oh, wow, just last week. Yes, there was one yeah. last week, a butemeter, precisely. Mm -hmm. Shola? Yes, <laughs> please go ahead. Are we saying that the last two parts that um, the responsible government agencies must create awareness of the need to collect and um, um, building permits and professionals. Everybody, including me and you, know that this um, th that these agencies exist. They come out to extort. They, we know them. So it's not that we don't know them. It's the issue of the system mm -hmm. failure, as we say, and the fact that even we Nigerians, especially, have become just devoid of all moral uh, in, um, in value systems, honestly. We are the ones that will go with, to them, show them, bribe them. Exactly. Everybody will say, it is where I work, I, I go chop. They will mm. take the money, compromise. Mm. So it's not as if they engage the professionals. The professionals are hungry or greedy mm. and compromise. So it, this one, fact, it goes beyond what we can see on uh, paper. This is what the Bible calls a complete renewing of mind. That's what is needed here. They need to remove. I don't know whatever it was that has been put into us to bring us this. this, this honestly, sorry. We might have to go spiritual on this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when all else fails, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because I mean, well, for me, I think the, it's one major question. When buildings collapse, the site is seized, it's taken over by government. Mm -hmm. That's the location of the building. What happens to the contractor and all the, mm. the people that work on the building? The guy who supervised the mixing of the cements, the contractor, the foreman, or what do you call them, who is supervising the entire process. At every stage of the building, the architects, do we check if the structure is okay? All this stuff, do we do it? Mm -hmm. Because if all these things are being done and licenses are being seized and people are sent to prison, it would deter a lot of people and make people a lot more conscious. That's one bit. Secondly, mm -hmm. Do Nigerians themselves care about their lives and the lives of other people? Do we feel mm -hmm. that the fact that and my life I believe, do we understand that we're responsible for other people around us? Because exactly. if you're putting up a building and you know that the structure, the quality of that building is mm -hmm. weak, then you're very inhuman. That on its own deserves a jail term, life imprisonment. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think something needs to be done to this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'll share an experience with you. You know, I mean, like Comfort said, it's a simple, it's, it's a system failure. Exactly. I, I did an event with, you know, some, you know, some expatriates mm. in 2011. And we're setting up, it was an event in a hotel, a big event, massive event. You know, it was an award ceremony, one of the biggest in Nigeria. 
and they had brought some, some consultant from South Africa. Mm -hmm. you know, so while the decorator was setting up, you know, mm. the guy asked me, so at what point do they do the fire drill, the fire test? <laughs> I said, what was that? <laughs> you know, it's funny, right? I said, what was that? He said, oh, they're putting drapes, right? I said, yes, they're not going to test it with fire. I said, you want this place to burn down? He said, no, are you being serious? He couldn't, he was, he was totally, his yeah. mind was boggled. He was like, what? You could just do things there. There's no agency that checks. So, I mean, that's an event, <laughs> right? An yeah. event of maybe three or four hours. Mm -hmm. Now, think about a building that has to sit there for maybe 20 or 30 years, yeah. or more in some cases. Mm -hmm. So clearly there's a system failure. There's no point where somebody has thought that at some point, somebody needs to come and check. In mm. some cases where they even check, you know his monies are exchanged. Oh, they check? So yeah. the system is already... It's messed up. You know, because as long as the human behind the system in Nigeria, that's what I always say, you know. Mm. Everywhere I go, and I've been both, you know, guilty and, you know, charged in this. I've been on both ends. Mm -hmm. Where the system fails, and I can see it. Where points where I've been guilty of system failure, because... I always say to myself, you know, and I always say, oh, this thing can be done. Oh, they won't let that thing. Mm. Oh, this thing is, is, oh, it's policy. You know, I always say, is, is it a human behind that? Let's test it. I've tested this thing too many times. Yeah. I've tested this thing too many times. As long as the Nigerian behind, behind yeah. that yeah. process like or that mentioned. policy. I won't tell yeah. you what I went through today. Hmm. Trying to get, you know, renew passports or trying to do a passport for my daughter. Today, in this our Nigeria, if I tell you the process that I went through to renew a passport as a Nigerian, Hmm. You understand what this system failure is about. I hmm. can't even get started. Yeah. Yeah. So are we yeah. saying we're doomed for life? What's the way out? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> kind of, that's another, I think that's another show entirely. <laughs> but like, like you said, you know, you know, we said something at the beginning of the show. Yeah. And Comfort was hearing and Comfort made a comment. I said, there are 200 million people in Nigeria. The leaders that we have are up to 50,000. If a million people, and my math is bad, I know what one million of 200 million is. If a million people decide to do right in Nigeria, one million people, we have 36 states, mm. let's say 100,000 people per state decide to do the right thing, 100,000 people per state start, decide to do the right thing in Nigeria, and you have 3.6 million people doing the right thing in Nigeria, mm. Nigeria will change. It's a change. It's mm. now how to get those people mm. to do the right thing. That is, you're not throwing debts out, you're not following one way, you're not paying bribe, just 3 million people, 3.6 million out of the 200 million. Let's try it. And you see if there'll be change. But you know, but you know, you, you know, you, most times when you go to government offices and you want to get, for instance, maybe a document or a permit, mm -hmm. you know, and they tell you, ah, the person in charge, as in the staff, <laughs> the people in, in the office are telling you, mm -hmm. Madam, don't bother. This person, our boss doesn't compromise. Mm -hmm. And you just know inside you that this man would definitely compromise because yes. maybe you have an offer yeah. that's very irresistible. So juicy. Yes. yes, and you just think that, and you know that if, if this person doesn't give you this permit, th there's no way you can go ahead. Yeah. And over the years, I know we've, like you mentioned, we've been guilty. I've, mm. I've been on this side and I've been on the other side. Who hasn't? Yes, and yeah. you know, this person now tells you, okay, I'm not supposed to do this, but I will help you. That's it. So that's where it starts. That's where it starts. I will so help we, you. Exactly, I'll help you. So, so we, we really need to work on ourselves as Nigerians. Mm. And like you mentioned, if we have just few people who, is, who, who are willing to stand you know, for what is right, yeah. then well, we see, would While go. you wrap up, I agree with you that we need to do that, get those few people. But I think more importantly, we have a few people that do this. I can speak for myself. From the way mm. you speak to I know you. I mean, I know what you mm. stand for and everything. I try. You, I know you all try. <laughs> Nobody's trying. 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 Say, you know? Now, yeah. I'm, I'm very sure from the top of our heads, if we also look, I mean, around our friends and everything, we can get maybe 50,000 people. But yes. what we don't do is speak out. Mm. We do it and we keep quiet. Mm. And everybody thinks, oh, he's done what everybody does. Mm. If we all can speak out, yes. there'll be a change. Yes. Yes. And uh, what God cannot do does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> preach, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shut up. Okay. Uh, yes. Next. Up next is Tolu. Stay with us. <laughs>